this is something that members of our free company had been wanting to talk about doing. It was something that they wanted to do to be able to help support our free company and give it a little extra incentive to come join it. But because so many of us were fixated on playing the adventure part of the game and being the Warrior of Light, we focused more of our attention on fighting the enemies, clearing the side dungeons, clearing the main stories, and something like this would always get neglected. We would always make a little bit of progress, but we never made any real progress. This week though, not only did we actually make progress, we went and completed the whole freaking thing. And at long last, an airship is finally in our free company. So with that in mind, Greetings, people of the world! Matthew back with you here in Overall Autism for another edition of the Tales of Eorzea vlog here on Final Fantasy XIV's Exodus server. So, yes, after being a free company for almost two years now, we finally have secured the one thing that was missing from our free company above everything else. We had home, but we never had the thing that is considered to be the most coveted thing that a free company home can possess. And we finally have it, and it's right behind me, an airship. It's currently, you're currently looking at a, a holographic visual of what our airship looks like. We completed it pretty much all in one morning, thanks to one of our newer members, Maya Tyler, pretty much going gung-ho and doing everything he could possibly do to get this airship built. Because earlier this week, one day just out of the blue, he was like, Hey, do we have the ability to build an airship? Do we have the materials for it? And I told him, no, we don't. And so he basically emptied out his entire bank account in-game to get the parts and the resources that he needed to build this for us. Of course, when you, you're building an airship, you have to have um, four people who are on their various crafters with you in the, air, in the workshop of your free company at all times. Whenever stuff is getting added and built and that sort of thing. So because of that, and because we have so few people who are really dedicated to crafting in our free company, we were never able to be able to have four people conveniently in one place at the same time together. In fact, to really get this off the ground, Maya um, made a request to a friend of his, um, who is in another free company, to come join ours on a temporary basis, just so that he could be able to have his friend do the contributions on the respective crafts, because when you're creating the various parts of your airship, you need people who are on specific parts of crafting to be able to contribute the materials. It's a very complicated process and you need to be able to have the people who have sufficiently high enough crafting on multiple forms of crafting to be able to create the parts for the airship and then to put it all together then you of course need that to happen too. So it was a very complicated process, but yet we were able to get it all done in a single morning. I had the opportunity to bear witness to most of it before I had to leave for work, but Maya pretty much took the lead where so many of others have attempted to take the lead, but never really made any commitments, and then it just went from there. Maya pretty much single-handedly built us this airship. And so, we're grateful for the fact that Maya has done this. In fact, we've never had someone um, make the efforts to endear themselves to the, our free company throughout the time that they've been here in such a short period of time as Maya has. And Maya's only been with our free company for less than two weeks. And already, giving us an airship and coming along with us on various... Um, other ways to help out our free company as well is really going a long way to supporting our free company and this is when you take into consideration that um, we had known Maya before that 
he came to join our free company. He was in Samuel's free company, and we um, got the first impression of him. And suffice it to say, if you've seen my um, various Tales of Eorzea streams with Mathia, you'll know that our first impression of Maya was not very good. Maya had proved himself to be a very much of a troll, and eventually it got to the point where he was pretty much not very liked by many people. And so, for some reason or another, I guess Maya felt disenchanted um, being in Thamriel's free company, that one day he asked to come join ours. And so, um, we were we were obviously a bit reluctant, but um, Maya had made an, an effort, a consorted effort, to come support us in some dungeon runs before we brought him in. So, then he, he did that, and then on top of that, he then went on, once he joined our free company, to build our airship. So, for Maya, this is really, I guess, the culmination of him wanting to show how sorry he was for trolling us when we first met him and for, ga for gaining a not very likable reputation in the early going. But th this is... I, I, I'm sh Obviously he wanted to redeem himself and show contrition and remorse, but even this was beyond my wildest expectations. That th this is... This was far more of an apology than I could have ever thought possible. This is something I never thought we would ever see. Like we, like I said, it's always been so difficult for our free company to get four highly leveled enough crafters to come together at the same time to build an airship. And yet, Maya was able to thankfully be in the right place at the right time to make it happen. And just how happened to have a friend alongside who was willing to come join us temporarily to help make it happen. And so we're really grateful for how much Maya has proven himself to be um, a, va a valuable member of our free company, and we only can hope that this continues. Because he's already expressed interest to build a second airship for us. Even though, yeah, because you can have as many as four airships at a time, and he's already interested and eager to want to build a second. So yeah, we we are. It turns out that we are not even close to seeing all that Maya is willing to contribute to our free company to help make it better. And I can only hope that we, as a free company, will continue to benefit from Maya's contributions, and that Maya, in turn, will continue to um, be. Uh, a great member of our free company because, like I said, it's only been around for less than two weeks, and you can already see the proof of how far he's willing to go to help us out, and we're all very grateful for his presence. So yeah, he's he is officially forgiven by us, and he's done right by us now, so it's all good, and we're definitely benefiting from this partnership that we have with him now that he's a member of our free company. So, that is going to do it for today's edition of the Tales of Eorzea vlog. Don't forget that if you have a character on Exodus, or are looking to create one on Exodus, and you're looking for a free company, please come and look us up, because as you can see, we've just made our most significant progress in our free company's development, and we already have a lot of enthusiasm to make it even better, and we hope that you'll come and join us for the ride. So thank you very much everyone for watching, and until next time everyone, this is Matthew at Novora Autism, saying take care, and I'll see you soon.